In this video, you will learn how to use the Weld feature in ANSYS Design Modeler. The Weld feature is used in surface models to represent the geometry of the weld and join adjacent surface parts. It will form a touching condition between the surface parts. If I zoom in on the mid-surface model shown and set the rotation center, I can see that the geometry is not quite connected. I want to establish touching conditions, so I'll define weld geometry. That geometry will be meshed, and the mesh will be connected, either via meshing connections or directly as mesh. I'll select Welds from the Tools menu, and I'll return to the area shown before. I'll pick a number of edges that will be used as guides for the weld feature. I want to perform a weld along here. And I want the weld to be at the face here. I'll click Apply and then generate the weld. Immediately we see four new surfaces which represent the weld geometry. Now I'll create a weld for the other side of the model. Now both of our vertical pieces are welded. Now let's move on to the holes on the back plate. As you can see, they are not quite touching the back plate. So I'll add a new weld and select the edges that I want to weld. Note that you can select multiple edges at once. I'll click Apply again, and you can see that the edges are extended to the face of the plate. There was another weld that was in the original geometry that contained extensions from the two plates here to the bottom plate. I'll add another weld feature and pick the bottom edges as shown. Again, I'll click Apply and Generate. Now I'll turn off frozen body transparency and zoom in to take a look at the welds I've generated. Notice the three regions where I've created new surface geometry that represents welds. I have a few more welds I'd like to create, so I'll turn frozen body transparency on again and continue. I need to create a weld at the angle plate to the bottom plate. I'll select a guide edge and a face to project to. Notice that the weld size is appropriate and extends only as far as it is able to project. Next, I'll add a weld feature to the front plate. To save time, I'll use the Extend to Limits feature to automatically select the necessary edges. I have now completed the creation of welds for this model and design modeler. That concludes this demonstration of welds in Design Modeler.